G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at a really easy way to create some abstract images using things that you can find around your home. Let's get into it. You only need a few materials in order to take these photos. The first is some sort of screen and you can use either a computer screen or a phone screen. And the other thing is just some standard office paper. It's the same sort of paper that you'd use in your printer at home. The first thing you want to do is to change your screen to a particular color. The easiest way to do this is by opening Photoshop up, creating a new document and using a color fill layer to choose the color of your choice. If you don't have Photoshop, then you can use photop.com, which is a free online Photoshop clone, and it'll do the same thing. And if you're using your phone, then download the PixArt app, create a new document, and change the background color to whatever color you're wanting to use. Now that you've done this, you're ready to go. So put your screen somewhere flat. I was just putting my computer screen on the floor and turn off all the other lights in the room so that the screen is the only source of light. This is so that all the light we're capturing is shining through the paper rather than bouncing off it. It's easiest to have the camera on a tripod while you're doing this as that way you can set the camera up and focus solely on your composition without the camera moving its position. And also it'll make it easier because we're gonna have a pretty long shutter speed when we take the photo and it might be a bit hard to handhold. The camera settings I was using was aperture priority with an aperture of f8 and an ISO of 100. And this gave me a shutter speed of between sort of two to eight seconds, depending on which color I was shooting and how much paper I'd put on top. And I was also shooting at negative one exposure compensation. And this is because when we're using really extreme colors like this, it can be quite easy to clip the individual colors in our color channels. So make sure when you're taking your photo, you're checking the RGB histogram and making sure that you're not losing any data in in any of the channels. If you want to shoot handheld, then I would leave the ISO on auto and maybe you'll get some usable shutter speeds that way. Once you've got your screen and your camera set up, the only thing left to do is to create a pattern with your paper. You want to zoom into the screen as much as possible, ideally so that the color is filling up the entirety of the image. Using a computer screen is easier because you've got a bigger surface to work with. However, if you're using your phone, then try and use a macro lens if you have one. And if you don't have a macro lens, just zoom in as close as you can, get the camera as close to the screen as possible, and you can crop in a little bit once you get the photo onto the computer in the editing stage. Start with one piece of paper first and put this on as the background layer and then add other pieces of paper on top of this in whatever sort of pattern that you're wanting to create. Think about your composition while doing this and use some of the classic rules like the rule of thirds and leading lines in order to help you balance out the composition in your image. Our eyes will typically go to the brightest spot in the image so it's a good idea to put whatever the brightest spot is somewhere along the rule of thirds and then to also use any lines you create with the other patterns in the image to point towards this spot. There you go, as simple as that. Really quick, really easy, and endless possibilities to take some interesting shots. I hope you got something out of this and you get some good photos, and I'll see you on the next video. Catch you later.